before before this video starts, I just rewatched that video back and God do I not want to post it. God am I critiquing the shit out of myself, how close I'm holding the camera, how fat my face looks, how Ah Okay. That's my preface for the video. Enjoy the video. I'll be back. I have no idea when. Peace! I would like to really expose myself online to put my struggles online to really show whoever thinks still thinks I'm this extremely successful traveling the world videographer um that a I'm not b I am in a way um <laughs> ah it's so windy Instagram ah it's just Fuck that, it's not just, I fucking, I have a lot of, um, really hate for some words, two of which being like and just, for the most part, for like, sometimes we actually need to use it, uh, third being, uh, or, um, I'm trying to become a better speaker here, you know, and I do not want any of those words in my repertoire. <sighs> oh, that's a beautiful clock, I hope you can see it, I don't know if you can, I think you can. I really would like to post online about how I'm healing, I want to say fixing, because I fucking hate that thought of people need to be fixed. No one needs to be fucking fixed, people, some people need to be healed, one of which is moi, me. Uh, I would love to put online how I'm healing my two eating disorders, how I've gained probably around 15 to 20 pounds in about a month and a half, how that has been extremely fucking challenging on my self-image, my self-acceptance, uh, I mean, obviously my fitness level, cardiovascular, just imagine gaining that, well, I mean, if you've ever done it, great, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't want to say this, I was going to say, in a way, but for someone who's always been fit, that's kind of arrogant. So I'll say, um, I've been relatively light in terms of just being able to bounce around and energetic my whole life. So throwing on uh, an extra eighth of my body weight in a matter of a month, month and a half, has been very challenging. Um, never really understood how it could be, this is kind of getting more into fitness now, how it could be hard for people to do push-ups until I put on another 20 pounds and I was like, damn, I actually get this now. Uh, yeah, throwing on weight, eating, giving my body, but basically what I've been doing is going all in and that is exactly what it sounds like, giving myself, my body, my mind, etc. full permission to eat whenever, wherever, whatever it wants. Um, and there's a lot of science on this. You can look up Stephanie Butterworth on YouTube. You can look up Set Point Theory. You can look up, I mean, really, those are the main two places where I've derived my um, Brook Plantain sub so three uh, ideas. I don't know. Uh, and, uh,. It's been really fucking hard. <laughs> uh, the second thing is, so when I got to England, um, this is, I mean really everything here is my responsibility, my fault, my, I don't know, that that's, suffices. Kind of realized that I can't shoot videos for people uh, because it's illegal and I'd be working as an illegal immigrant. Um, so financially, I've been treading very, very, uh, treading thin water, that's just not an expression, I think. And maybe it is, I don't know. I think you catch my drift, right? Um, to say that has been stressful would be a gross understatement. However, there have been many things I have learned financially um, that I actually really keep learning, such as last night. Um, there have been many new things I've learned to be grateful for, such as really having a bed to sleep in and having a roof over my head. Um, there has been a time, probably around three and a half now, weeks ago, from when you're seeing this, 
that I have had over negative $500 in my bank account. Um, get mas. And to top it all off, <laughs> to put the cherry on top. Um, my desire to shoot videos has just gone to shit. I don't know, and I've been trying to figure this out by asking better questions. And I'll, I'll show you an example after I explain. Um, if I want to do video anymore. Uh, but I know some part of me does. I just don't think I want to do the videos that I typically do. I still don't know, I have to test it out though. Anyways, um, I'll give you the example of the better question now. <sighs> so, when I had, actually, no, about a week ago really, when I was, I, I mean, uh, financially, uh, self-image, self-acceptance wise, and even relationship wise, and I'm not gonna address this on this video, it's maybe for another time, I have been um, challenged. <laughs> very, very, very challenged. Uh, so, financially, I'll explain with this camera and the example. If I were to have, say, a thousand dollars in my bank account, would I sell this camera? That to me is a better question than saying, do I still want this camera? I'll give myself conditions, um, potential challenges or potential solutions to test if I still want to do something. Um, really, I kind of did it with this uh, saying, actually that's a story for another time. It's a kind of a beautiful, I wish I could show you the sunrise, um, but there's kind of many buildings blocking it here. I think you can tell it is getting a little bit lighter. I had this idea, I think last night, to call this Sunset Talks, and then I realized that it's not a sunset, it's a sunrise. Um, oh yeah, and there's one more thing I'd like to share. Because uh, a lot of people think of me as this very disciplined, time-oriented, um, rigid, maybe even, maybe workaholic, maybe super focused person. Um, that has not been the case for about the past two and a half months. Um, I give some of this credit to going all in and healing my eating disorders. I give this some credit to my body just being like, you're fucking killing me, stop it. I have stopped consistently waking up at 5 a.m. Um, there was even about a month where I didn't do cold showers and that's something most of you know I pride myself on. Uh, and that threw me in a loop. And I've learned to stop being... There's a level of discipline that I believe is necessary to create the life you want to create. But if you're, and I say this from my own experience, if you're doing something consistently just to do it, and you absolutely hate it, such as me going to bed at 12, 12.30, waking up at 5 a.m. because I thought I needed I, the need part. I needed to be awake What's that, 19 ish hours? 19 ish hours working my ass off, being super productive, super focused, uh, kind of hating my life. And it's just like, what the fuck? Too much discipline is very toxic. I think, really, too much of anything is really toxic. Um, granted, there is a level of, I believe this at least, of it. Whew! Getting you, my arm's getting a bit tired, okay. There's a level of, of uh, obsession that is healthy, I believe. Um, if you want to be the top of whatever you're doing, if you don't even know what you want to do, such as really probably me right now. Um, so I can empathize with you guys now. Uh, you don't... I'm saying this to myself too. There's nothing you need to do, including being too disciplined um, just to be disciplined. 
I've really learned that, and I know it's super cliche and all of us know it, um, really from life putting me in the dirt, <laughs> which is me putting myself in the dirt and not taking that victim mentality here. We don't do that, okay? You gotta take ownership for everything in your life or else you'll never be able to create the life you want to. Um, from myself putting myself in the dirt, I've learned that we really only do have one life. I know it's super cliche, I know, but no matter how many times people say it, no matter how many times you hear it, once you really internalize that, in a way you'll be extremely excited and just a little bit absolutely fucking terrified. Ugh. I found that's what you should do with your life. Find the thing or things and it might take you a month you might already know it might take you a year it might take you 10 you may never find it really um, but find the thing or the things or the people or whatever that absolutely excite you it's called your rhinoceros find the thing where if there was broken glass outside and you it was right on the other side of that broken glass you wouldn't even think about walking across a broken glass you'd fucking run right over it Find that, find those, find those people, find those relationships, find that company, find that creative, um, whatever it is. Because <sighs> it's going to excite you a lot. Um, and it also may scare the shit out of you because of how ambitious it is. And that, um, that is exactly how I feel right now with this video. Do I want to post this? Hell fucking no. I just opened up. Super vulnerable. Am I going to post this because I absolutely love being the example and I know what it's like now? <laughs> and a lot of people don't or are, I don't know, I'm just trying to justify this to myself. Uh, be the example. If you see something you don't like in the world and you want to change it, be the example. Um, and I think my, God, my arm is fucking exhausted. This camera is really fucking heavy. <laughs> and join me for the last of the sunrise. We got a friend with us. <laughs> uh, wow. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you're having an amazing day already, actually. And, um... Yeah. Mm -hmm. One more thing. I've said that like five times. Vulnerability is courage and vulnerability is strength. Okay, I gotta do this. Ah, it's been so long since I've done this. <laughs> you know Zivaz by now. <laughs> oh, oh my god, wow. I shouldn't even have to say it, but I'm gonna say it anyways. <laughs> I wanna shout this, but I don't fucking care. Stay energized! <laughs> it really never gets old. <laughs> Peace. Fast right now. Woo!